Hey everyone, welcome back. So one topic I want to talk a little bit about because I've really been having a hard time is insomnia when you have MS. So um, I'm not really a good sleeper. I've never been a good sleeper, uh, but the last couple weeks I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping, um, falling asleep, staying asleep. Uh, I've had nights where I do not sleep at all. And when I'm doing the research online to see, you know, if there's any relation between MS and insomnia, I can't really find any websites that say, yes, 100% MS causes insomnia. But when I reached out to other people who have MS, it seems like most people living with the disease really struggle with sleep and have a hard time staying asleep or just falling asleep. Um, just this week alone, I had about three nights where I didn't sleep at all. Um, when I was taking all of my medication, uh, for example, the solafenacine for my bladder, that medication actually made you a bit drowsy. So when I stopped all my medication, I went from having stuff I would take at night that would help me sleep to nothing. Um, in the beginning, I wasn't really having any trouble. But as I said, over the past couple weeks, it's been really difficult. Uh, the thing is, though, that... I am tired. It's not like I'm not tired. Um, my fatigue, especially after two nights of no sleeping, I mean, my fatigue is through the roof and I almost can't even function throughout the day. But then I'm going to bed and I'm so tired and I'm lying there and I'm seeing each hour go by. Um, and then the next thing I know, it's the morning and I really haven't slept. So... I, I don't know. It's really, really difficult to say like, yes, 100%, this is my MS. Um, I think that it's something that I have to talk to my specialist about. You know, I would like to talk to my family doctor about it. Um, you know, I've actually tried taking some stuff too to help me fall asleep and nothing's working. Uh, I've tried melatonin. I've tried Advil PM. Um, I've actually even taken Gravol liquid gels and that's the one thing that helps me fall asleep. For example, this week, one night, I took an Advil, uh, not an Advil, sorry, a Gravol liquid gel. I fell asleep and woke up two hours later. So, you know, it's really starting to take a toll on my body. Uh, I know I need to let my doctor know about it. Um, the thing is, with trying to get pregnant, I don't want to be taking anything to fall asleep. I just want to fall asleep naturally because once I am pregnant, you know, you can't be taking anything to help with that. So, I mean, it's something I'm going to try and do some more research on, but so far from what I found, um, there's not a lot that says that, yep, your MS is causing you to have insomnia and not be able to fall asleep. So, um, once I talk to my doctors about it, I'll make sure to let everybody know the information that I have because as I said, it seems like a lot of people living with MS do have have trouble with their sleeping patterns and are suffering the same way I am. So I hope that everybody is enjoying the little bit of nice weather that we are having. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next week.